Hey, this is Yuda and this is Ableton Live Tips and Tricks number 5. Today I want to show you old school arpeggiators. So I'm just going to load the default analog preset from the browser instruments, drag it to an empty MIDI track. Um, just maybe filter it out a tiny bit so it won't be too bright. Okay. Now I'm going to go to MIDI effects and I'm going to drop an arpeggiator right before the analog. And the arpeggiator is a device that takes the notes, separates them, and plays them in a specific style and in a specific speed. So if I'm going to play a chord here, and let's change the rate to, let's say, 16, and the style is up, it's going to play the notes in an upward motion every 16th note. Excellent. Let's change the style to something like more up and down, or up down. Excellent. And now if we add steps, um, what's going to happen is we're going to add two octaves above it. Now let's get the MIDI from the arpeggiator and see actually what's happening. I'm going to take a second MIDI track, I'm going to show the inputs outputs, and I'm going to choose MIDI from that first analog track. I'm going to hold Command or Control and arm the second track as well. Let's record a MIDI clip and let's play that chord. So we can see that with those two extra steps, telling the arpeggiator to play two other octaves, it's first going to go up and down, and then the second octave up and down, and then the third one. So how can we do so the arpeggiator goes all the way up and then all the way down? So this is a trick uh, my friend Shachar showed me. And what you want to do is cancel the steps in the arpeggiator, take the chord MIDI effect, and add an octave. You can just hold shift and hit the up arrow key. And let's duplicate that, so now we have two octaves. And we basically fool the arpeggiator to think we have three hands that are playing the same chord on three different octaves. Um, so let's record a new MIDI clip, and let's see that now. Nice. Um, so if we change maybe the speed to faster, we can already kind of hear um, some of those old school arpeggiators that we know from the from the video games. Nice. Now, um, if you want, you can download a rack or put it in the description. Um, it's just a basic MIDI effect rack that you place before the arpeggiator, and then you have two octaves to give it. Um, so no octaves. Nice. And um, it's also going to give you different types of patterns for all the other ones, like if we put uh, Diverge and we play it with two steps or comparing to two octaves from the chord effects it's a completely different pattern. So that's old school arpeggiators, um, Ableton Live, tips and tricks, number five, Yuda, Sidebrain, catch you later.